and welcome to another episode of Quasi's Corner with me, KY Not Jelly, and also the big cheese, who is Mark. Good evening. Welcome. Um, today we're going to talk about, um, we're actually going to be in part one of our stick accessories or accessory sticks, um, and we're going to be going on about rods today, uh, the rods that we have in store. So, uh, we're going to, without further ado, Go ahead with the uh, the plan here. So first of all, this is the first yeah. ones you were playing, was it? Quite yep. Yeah. Uh, which are the Promark hot rods here. Yeah, take yeah. one. Yeah. Um, Nineteen dials <coughs> of uh, wood, <laughs> and uh, this is a classic uh, rod here. Feels great. Um, hexagonal kind of uh, shape here, and yeah, it's made famous by the likes of Dave Grohl and Alan White. Um, if you remember Wonderwall from Oasis, that was where he made um, this famous, and Dave Grohl, also on the New York sessions, made this also quite famous in the early in the early days. So yeah, this is the kind of the the original, if you like, where everyone's then um, used their own versions of and made different adjustments. Okay, so what we're going to do is go on to different brands. Um, and different companies who have made their own ones. How do they feel in general? As, as, as you're playing, how do they feel? Do they feel nice to play, comfortable? I've, I've used a lot of these growing up personally yeah, yeah. and um, they served me pretty well. Um, I made the mistake of uh, smacking them really hard when I was younger, thinking okay. that they could take it. But I found and they break a little bit, don't they? A little bit, yep. they do. And it costs a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> so you kind of learn to take care of them yeah, exactly, um, yeah. and know you know, use the right ones for the right settings. But they also do like some, 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 they actually moved on a little bit and they, they, they produced what's called a lightning rod and a cool rod, difference being much chunkier doweling going on here and it could be, you know, a little bit harder playing if you like. And then with the cool rod, they made the hot rod slightly skinnier and, and that gives a slightly more smaller, um, the, it's, it's a little bit lighter in your hand and a little bit lighter to play. So it's two different, three different variations of the same thing. Yeah, if you want to hit a little harder, go for the lightning rods. That will serve your purpose. Yeah, sure. Um, next one, I would say we've got the Vic Firth Root. Um, it's 16 dials. It comes in three versions. Um, and That's which I can show you now. There you go, there he is. Handily placed right by my left hand side. So you've got three, a bit like, a bit like the hot rods. They've got different versions. So they've obviously copied the, the idea and the principle. And um, the shape is quite similar on these other ones, aren't they? Quite similar on the it's other hexagonal two. Hexagonal shaped and different dowlings, a bit like the lightning rod, the cool rod equivalent. And then this is a, this is a bit of a different take, which quite will then. Yeah, this explain. is this is feels a bit more ergonomic. Uh, feels actually a bit like a five B or a two B, uh, even two B uh, stick. Yeah, yeah, have a feel. Yeah, it's quite chunky in the hand. It is a bit like a two B actually. Yeah. Yeah. So um, gives quite, it different different weighting as well, doesn't it? It's it's, uh, it's got a different feel about it because it's sort of plastic in, in in fabrication. It's got a different feel about it than than, than that has. It's it's a little bit more comfortable, I'd say, mm. and weights it forward a little bit more. Yeah, the hand fits around it just nicely. So. How did you find that when you're playing? Do you find it was really quite comfortable? Yeah, I, I didn't have to I didn't have to work my way around the stick. Yeah, yeah. It's just simple, you know. It's a great take on original idea, right. I reckon. That's 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 actually a that's, that's that's a good stick. That pretty cool. What do you what did you think of the new version of the Steve Smith things, Quasar? Um, we've got um, the Tyler wand here, which is in decked out in nice purple, yep. and with a, an adjustable ring. But and and what what wood is this, Quasar? Uh, this is actually made of bamboo. Um, this is an eleven dowel um, rod with a very interesting oh, yeah. uh, feature here. You've got. Uh, a filament of um, sponge inside, yeah. so you've got really yeah. good response when you hit. Nice it. take on an, an, an original idea, yeah. I reckon. Because what does it do that sponge for you when you're playing it? Oh, it just it it just felt like there was a there was a hell of a lot more rebound. Okay. On, on the on the drum. Did it absorb um, the shock a little bit? Would it you did. Say? It did. I felt I felt that, and it's yeah. a bit more rounded it as seems well. Like so. it, it seems like it would. Yeah. You know, pretty pretty cool take on on. on an I've just thought of something. Classic. The fact that they're made of bamboo doesn't they last longer though? Yeah, bamboo being a very sturdy material, um, they're designed to bend 
uh, quite a bit before they actually reach breaking point. So okay. that's yeah. something to think about when you're getting your next. It's uh, a bit harder, course. but last long there you go. time. And actually, thinking about it as well, Grace, if you look at the difference between the hot rod and uh, the the Tyler wand, it's 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 got a much larger section of plastic, which um, I don't know. Maybe that makes it a bit tougher at the top, or just nicer to and more comfortable. But I would say for those yeah. of you who who like uh, reaching further up the stick. Um, that might work for you. Next one is decked out in yellow. Pretty nice, actually. Um, you like yellow, don't you, Chris? I know I you do. I do like yellow. You do like yellow. Um, <laughs> bit of a Tony Williams fan, aren't you? So um, this is very similar in in look and style, but it's, it's made birch. Of birch isn't it? yeah. It's birch. Um, it's a bit thicker, and again, it features a filament in the middle of sponge. Yeah. Um, it's twelve dowels as opposed to uh, the other one, eleven, which has eleven. And um, it just is a bit less dense than the bamboo um, and feels a bit softer. Yeah, it probably feels a bit, when you play it against the two, yeah, it's definitely got slightly less attack than the bamboo. So True. that's just to sort of bear in mind as well. So a little bit nicer in sound maybe than bamboo, but bamboo will last longer if you're looking at saving a little bit of money. Yeah. Because these are something you need as a professional drummer to have these in your toolkit. There's something you just can't get away from these days. Somebody, an engineer or a, uh, um, a producer, may just say, "Can you, can you get your hot rods out?" And if you haven't got them, you're gonna, you, you're gonna need, you're gonna struggle to get to feel the right sound in that session. So, um, last and not least, um, this is something that Quasi will, will take you through. This is quite a fun thing that we've uh, discovered in the last sort of six months, which has started to work in the shop, and people are loving them. Okay, this is the uh, Promark Broomstick, uh, one of our favourites now, definitely my personal favourite. Um, it comes in two sizes, um, so this is the thicker one, it also comes in a thinner size. Um, and really, it's, it's based on um, the old, uh, I would say African broomsticks. It's actually a broom, people use this to sweep the floor in certain countries. Um, what Promark have done, uh, they've added um, a funky handle to it and told us to use them on drums. Bit of a sweeping statement. <laughs> <laughs> They're actually um, a little bit shorter than, than, than a typical hot rod as well, which which is a consideration, but that makes it feel different when you're playing. It makes you, makes you play a little bit different possibly as well. I would say, I mean, I've used these in, in the studio um, and live as well. Um, I, I've used it on a Cajon live Oh, that's and a that's worked idea. really well. That's a nice idea. Do um, they, do they rec do, what's the sound when you obviously down a mic compared with acoustically? Could be quite different, is it? It's quite it a full sound. Nicely. Yeah, it's quite a full sound on the cajon. Do you actually hear the brush itself as you you're do. hitting it? You which do. Which is quite a big because thing. Because I, I, I use it to um, uh, sweep as well as hit, as actually hit it on the cajon. Like just like a plug it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's so that nice, actually yeah. comes out when the cajon's mic'd up. And on the drums as well in the studio, I've used these for the more uh, tribal tracks that I've done, and they've come out really well. So generally speaking, this is something you have to have, so it's worth knowing there's a lot more permutations out there for the sort of working drummer and the, you know, and the, the serious amateur as well. You just have to have these sticks. There's no way around it. So um, we do tend to stock these in the shop, so come and have a play of them and see what you like. Yep, and that's it for us today. Um, hope you enjoyed that and uh, have a look at the little demos we got, uh, maybe give you an idea of what's going down. All right, cheers.